good evening everyone uh, welcome to this matlab master class series i warmly welcome you to the session uh, thanks for your time uh, thanks for coming first i would like to welcome the early comers first uh, before that if i am audible just type yes in the chat box if i am not audible just type no in the chat box i am ready for chat okay uh, jahan welcome uh, yokesh welcome uh, singh welcome david welcome tenmuli welcome uh, devendra kumar welcome and um, tapna welcome vijay kumar welcome and devendra kumar welcome venkatesh welcome if i am audible just type yes in the chat box if i am not audible uh, just type no in the chat box okay i am waiting for a chat so good evening everyone welcome uh, thank you thank you guru Pra guru prasad thank you uh, jay singh thank you naresh thank you mohan thank you so thank you so much uh, thanks for com uh, thanks for confirming uh, thank you so much uh, aryan thank you thank you for your heart aryan thank you so much so uh, so if you are super excited just type super excited in the chat box if you are super excited just type super excited in the chat box uh, just type why are you here okay to get a job type j if you want to learn a new skill just type yes in the chat box and if you want to upskill or if you are doing some research or if you are a phd students then just type r in the chat box okay and if you are an entrepreneur just type e in the chat box i love to see your chat so thank you so much uh, baba thank you and uh, okay Okay, learn a new skill, okay. So just type, why are you here? Okay, to get a job, type J. If to learn a new skill, just type yes for upskill. If you're doing some research, just type R in the chat box. Okay, if you're an entrepreneur, just type E in the chat box. So thank you so much for your response. Just type your city where you're from, just type your city so that we can understand like where are you attending this session. Uh, just type your city. Okay. Okay. Just type your city. I'm waiting for a chat. Santosh, thank you. Daniel, thank you. Aman, thank you. Mohan, thank you. Uh, Harish, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Dana, thank you. Okay. Chennai, Bangladesh, Nairobi. Okay. Meerut, Koyamathur, Tirupadi. Okay. Nigeria. Okay. So we have a very good mix of students from all over the world, okay, from Ghana. So, uh, so I'll I'll just give a recap of what we are going to learn on this uh, thirty days, okay. Just give me a moment, okay. So day one is about getting started with MATLAB, okay. So today we are going to cover up the basics like how to open a, a M file and uh, how to write a for loop, if loop. A while loop switch case statements and how to create your own functions okay so today's session is all of basics so day two we'll be covering up image processing using matlab okay we'll be uh, we'll be covering up how to read an image various different types of images like jpg image uh, png images and uh, medical images dicom images how to read this image and how to do mathematical operations on this image how to add noise to the image and how to add filter to the image how to split planes okay uh, so all these things we will be covering up on day two uh, it's all about the image processing day three is about video processing how to read videos how to capture a video from the camera and how to convert a video to frames and how to convert frames back to the video and how to do mathematical operations on videos and how to apply uh, uh, how to add noise and how to apply filter on a on a real-time video processing so that will be covering up on day three on day four is graphical user interface how to develop your own gui okay in matlab and day five is about app development how to develop your own applications on matlab it's not the android app or ios app it's matlab apps okay how to uh, create your own apps so that you can monetize okay, for example if you're uh, developing an algorithm for medical image processing we cannot give the code to the uh, doctors okay so you can develop an app and you can give it to them so how to develop the apps matlab apps that that is covered up on day five like how to create push buttons drop down menu and uh, so all these functions will be covered up on day five okay so day six is about computer vision using matlab okay how to use the computer vision toolbox like how to detect your face and uh, face detection 
and how to barcode recognition qr code recognition so all these things we will be covering up on day 6 okay so day 7 is fuzzy logic design how to design a traffic light control system using fuzzy logic okay so that will be covering up on day 7 uh, if you found this it's useful just type useful in the chat box okay so day 1 to day 7 uh, if you found the content of day 1 to day 7 is useful just type useful in the chat box and day 8 we'll be covering up so from day 8 to day 13 is all about neural networks and machine learning okay so neural network how to uh, design a simple neural network okay for flower classification that will be covering up on day 8 so neural network using matlab on day 9 is all about future extraction okay because future extraction plays a major role on machine learning okay so in machine learning you have to do a manual future extraction okay so we will be covering up various future extraction techniques like harris features and wavelet features gaber features okay and uh, eigen features so we will be covering up different types of future extraction which you could use it for your application that is on day 9 on day 10 is about machine learning how to write a machine learning code for svm algorithm okay we'll be uh, we'll be using a digit recognition code application the application will be digit recognition so we'll be taking some digit images and we'll be classifying those image by using support vector machines okay that is on data so we'll be writing the code from scratch so i'll be explaining the code line by line so that you can uh, make it you can also write the code from your end okay so this is a pure practical program this 30 days is a pure practical program so no like uh, the theory part will be like just uh, 20% the remaining 80% will be the practical part okay so day 11 is about knn machine learning using knn algorithm okay k nearest neighbor and day 12 is about the breast cancer detection using machine learning is a project and day 13 is about how to use machine learning on internet of things so we'll be using a thingspeak cloud which is from same matlab like mathox from a company called mathox uh, we'll be using a machine learning code for uh, uh, for uh, for iot applications okay so machine learning and for predictive maintenance okay so day that is about uh, machine learning and iot and day 14 okay so from day 8 to day 13 it's all about neural networks and machine learning okay if 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 you if this is ask some just type ask some the chat box with fire emoji okay uh, just give a fire emoji with ask some okay uh, i want to see more energy on the chat uh, just type uh, okay just give me a moment let me check your chats uh, just type it's not a subham jain it's not a recorded session okay it's a live session uh, so just type a fire emoji on the chat box i'm ready for the chat okay if this is found ask some just type ask some in the chat box okay okay so thank you thank you uh, thank you uh, sai kran thank you priya thank you okay uh, thank you vinila uh, vinila thank you girish thank you aryan thank you and uh, darvish darvish mohaidin thank you okay sudha thank you so that thank you okay so so day 14 to day 20 is all about deep learning using matlab okay so we are going to design a simple convolution neural network uh using matlab that's on day 14 how to design a simple convolution neural network we'll be writing the code from scratch and day 15 is how to uh, what is we'll be covering up what is supervised learning and how to write a code for supervised learning using matlab we will be applying the transfer learning uh, for alexnet and densnet algorithms and day 16 is about how to do face recognition using convolution neural network okay that is on day 16 and day 17 is about the regional convolution neural networks okay so we are going to do face detection algorithm on day 17 so day 18 is about semantic segmentation okay which is used for autonomous robots for navigation uh, so uh, for classification of roads and for pedestrians and for cars vehicles okay semantic segmentation plays a major role on uh, medical image processing also so we'll be writing uh, uh, the code for semantic segmentation on day 18 and day 19 is about a uh, deep learning for speech signal okay for uh, we'll be using uh, lstm network long and short term memory networks and day 20 is about unsupervised learning using matlab okay that is on day 20 so day 14 to day 20 is deep learning okay so 
uh, if it's if it is awesome just type awesome the chat box with fire emojis okay so uh, day 21 to 25 is all about image processing and computer vision the applications will be on image processing and computer vision so day 21 is uh, we'll be uh, covering up the image segmentation algorithm using graph cut segmentation and 22 is about image compressing using matlab where we'll be using the wavelet transformation how to compress images by using wavelet transformation okay and discrete cosine transform so that will be on day 22 and day 23 is about steganography okay how to hide a text inside an image that will be covering up on day 23 and day 24 is about the augmented reality using matlab okay so that's a, a new field like uh, how to use how to how to develop an augmented reality applications using matlab so 25 is about day 25 is about the video surveillance real time video surveillance and motion detection uh, using camera by using matlab okay uh, so that's on day 25 and day 26 uh, will be uh, writing a program for real time drowsy detection uh, using matlab this is using again using cnn and uh, the wireless jones algorithm on day 26 and using camera okay real time drowsy detection using camera okay which is using matlab and conversion neural networks and day 27 is about leaf disease recognition using cnn okay again it's a cnn and 28, day 28 is about the SLAM algorithm, like simultaneous localization and mapping, which is used for autonomous robots, okay, uh, for navigation, like path following, path navigation robot to, if you want to design your path following robot or path navigation, to, uh, so that's, it, it, this session will be useful for you. And 29 is about kidney stone detection, okay, using MATLAB, using morphological operations. And 30 is the graduation day, like we'll be using the certificates on day 30. Okay, if you love this curriculum, just type uh, uh, with the heart emoji, love this curriculum in the chat box. Okay, love this MK. Okay, love this in the chat box. Just type the heart emoji in the chat box. If you love this curriculum for 30 days, uh, just type uh, uh, heart emoji in the chat box. I'm waiting for a chat. Okay. Dhan Lakshmi, thank you. Gobinath, thank you. And Betri Mahan, thank you. Uh, uh, so, okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay so thank you so much uh thank you abdullah thank you like uh pankaj thank you so, thank you okay so thank you so much thank you for your hearts thank you sarat thank you okay let's go for the uh so uh, i need a permission for uh for two minutes to uh give an introduction about me okay just type p for permission okay I need a permission for two minutes, not more than that. Okay. Just type P for permission in the chat box. Okay. Just type P for permission. I'm ready for chat. P for permission. Okay. My name is uh I, I I'll just take just two minutes, okay, not more than that. My name is MK Jiva Rajan. You can call me as MK or Jiva, okay, whatever which is which is comfortable for you, but not sir. Okay, you can call me by name. Either MK, if you're not able to pronounce my name, call me as MK or Jiva okay so i have 18 plus years of experience uh, i started my career in the year 2004 uh, i like i completed my master's degree in the year 2004 from college of engineering gindi and my bachelor degree in the year 2002 uh, from Kaunman college of engineering burgur okay so i have built 300 plus products on for pantax solutions uh, my primary expertise is on uh, microcontrollers uh, dsps fpgas i used to work on various microcontroller architectures and various DSP processors. I worked with Texas Instruments, uh, analog devices. Uh, I closely work with analog devices, Xilinx. Okay, so with various ma manufacturers to develop the products. Okay, and generated 70 plus crores of revenue for Pantax Solutions. And uh, the BrainSense, a product called BrainSense, which is a brain-computer interface. Okay, which was indigenously manufactured uh, in India. Uh, got selected for uh, selected by NASCAM that for the top five innovation products in india in the year 2015 okay so uh, i straightly came from college i straightly came from college uh, uh, myself and my friends we straightly came from college and we started a business called pantech solutions okay uh, so <clears throat> i have not less uh, i'm not a programmer at that point of time so we started as a student project center okay student project center in the year 2004 uh, we straightly came from college uh, my father is a mechanic and uh, the take home salary at that point of time for him is 6000 rupees okay so he borrowed me 2 lakh rupees and he gave it to me and we started 
the company called Pantech Solutions, and we generated a revenue of 18 lakh rupees on the first year. Okay, myself, I have not done my own college project. I used to purchase the project, but uh, we started a company uh, with the project center. Okay, helping students, helping students. Uh, the thing is, uh, the point here is the point which I like to convey here is okay. It's not money which you need to start a business. Okay, it's not the skill set which you need to start a business. It's the will which you need. Okay, stronger the will you have. Okay, stronger the will you have, you can achieve anything. Okay, so uh, you will find out a way. More sooner you will find out a way. It's about how strong the will is. Okay, so uh, so you can you can develop your skill set. You can acquire money over the period of time. So money is not a matter, and skill set is also not a it's not a matter. Okay, it can be acquired. Okay, it can be acquired. Skill set can be acquired, no matter where you are right now. So, uh, so have a strong will, okay? St have a strong will, so uh, uh, that will decide your future, okay? So, 2005, we launched Madurai branch, generated 40 lakh revenue, uh, which is in India. Like, uh, 2006, we launched Hyderabad and Kobe branch, we generated 1.2 crore revenue. And 2007, we launched Pune and Cochin, like, we, we generated 2.2 crore revenue. And 2008, we launched, uh, there's no new branch launch, but we managed to move for 3.2 crore revenue. And 2009, we launched Vijayawada with 3.8 crore revenue. And uh, 2010, like it's 4.2 crore revenue. And 2011, we, we started manufacturing unit like Pantac Prolabs, uh, started developing, uh, manufa uh, develop started manufacturing development boards like microcontroller boards, DSP boards. We manufactured microcontroller boards and DSP boards and FPGA boards. And we sell it for the engineering colleges, okay? Uh, 6.2 crore. Uh, and 13 is 8 crore revenue, okay? So things went well till 2015. So 2015, uh, there is a lesson engineering colleges uh, registration. Like uh, people, like they change. Uh, people are not interested to join engineering colleges because the business is based on engineering colleges. So there's a dip at five crore revenue. And 2016, when demonetization was introduced, the manufacturing unit uh, made zero sales for six months. Okay, so we made zero sales for six months. At that point of time, we need like 45 lakh rupees to run the company. Okay, so we need we we done four crore revenue, 17 3.4 crore revenue, 2018 is 3.2 crore, 2019 is 3.2 crore, in 20 when COVID comes, okay, so we we the manufacturing unit was forced to shut down, uh, and we did only 1.5 crore revenue. In 21, uh, we made 4.2, uh, we bounced back and we made 4.2 crore revenue, and 22 like we made 6.2 crore revenue, okay, and 23 uh, the target is 18 crore revenue uh, with the SaaS product. We are we are releasing the SaaS product this month, uh, so that's uh, is we we are aiming at 18 crore revenue. Okay, so what is the reason for this downfall and what is the reason for this uh, for this up? Okay, so uh, the the only thing is it's not about demonetization. Okay, it's all in the mindset. The point here which I would like to share you is mindset. Okay, it's our own mindset. It's not demonetization. We started the blame game. Okay, we generate revenue during the COVID. Okay, when everything is shut down, when every when companies are shut down, like we generated revenue uh, during COVID. It's all in the. It's all about the mindset. Okay, just type mindset in the chat box. I would love to see your chat. Okay, I would love to see your chat. That's the reason uh, we. Uh, that's the reason we uh, for every session we come up with a mindset. Okay, every uh, every session like. Uh, every every 30 days series we have a mindset coaching because we strongly believe that 85% uh, of the success is on your mindset okay only 20% is skill set i want you to see your chat just type mindset in the chat box okay just type mindset in the chat box i'm ready for the chat thank you uh, thank you gridran thank you uh, bargavi thank you dinesh thank you swati thank you priyanka thank you okay Okay, Rana, thank you. Shai Krishna, thank you. Okay, so uh, so the rest you can follow. Okay, you can develop your skill set. You can acquire money over the period of time. But if you you have to fix your mind. Okay, so it all starts from goals. Okay, it all starts from goals. You have to set your goal first. Okay, so decide exactly what is that you want. What is that you want? Decide exactly. Is that money or is that fame or is that job? What is that you want? Decide it exactly. Okay. If you uh, if you didn't decide the goal, then it's just like driving a car without destination. Okay. You don't know like where to go. 
you just drive randomly but if you have a goal okay if you have a goal you can keep working on the goal you will have a direction to go okay so decide that fast if you if you if you if you have not fixed your goal please do fix the goal today okay today what is that exactly you want just decide that like if you want to be if you want to become a millionaire just or billionaire you just decide that you are going to be a billionaire okay so uh, no matter no matter where you are right now okay but decide what is that you want so that's the first key thing which you need okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to share a top 20 learning on my 18 plus years of entrepreneurship uh, at the end of the session only for those people who is staying at the end of the session okay you have to wait uh, so uh, i'll be sharing the top 20 percent of my learnings okay uh, uh, so uh, smart people learn from their own mistakes okay but intelligent people learn from others mistakes i want you to take some uh, pointers today which can help you for your success because we want every one of you those who are watching everyone right now on this uh, youtube we want your success okay if we could contribute to a success some percentage we are okay okay so uh, so just type uh, just type uh, with you in the chat box okay if you if 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 you will stay till the end of the session and uh, take the top 20 learnings just type with you in the chat box okay okay so our mission is to uh, help uh, uh, to help 10 million students to learn the technology in an easy way okay to help them monetize their skills and to build multiple streams of revenue okay because colleges they won't taught how to earn money which is a very essential skill for uh, everyone okay they taught skill sets but they won't taught how to earn money okay so most of the classes like when you join our community like we taught we have an entrepreneurship session like and we have a passive income session like where you can monetize your skills okay so that's our mission to help at least 10 million students to learn the technology uh, we taught uh, like we teach artificial intelligence we teach uh, uh, embedded system design uh, matlab okay so uh, to help at least 10 million students so that's our mission and to taught and also to uh, taught the other skills which is used to generate money okay to how to monetize your own skills so that also we teach okay so uh, i'll set the tone for this 30 day challenge i have repeat the statement again and again on all my uh, 30 day challenge you can read hundreds of books for swimming okay but you will never get guts unless you dive into the water Okay, the same thing applies everywhere. Okay, you can watch the videos for all the 30 days, but if you're not going to practice, it's just only 10% of the takeaway. Okay, if you want to get 80% of this 30 day challenge, then you have to practice. Install this software and practice. Okay, that's my, that's my wish. If you agree with this point, just type A for agree in the chat box. Okay, if you agree with, uh, you cannot swim unless you get dive into the water. You can watch hundreds of books. You can read hundreds of books for swimming. Uh, you can watch a lot of videos how to swim. But unless you get into the water, you won't get cuts. Okay. If you agree with this point, just type A for agree in the chat box. I'm waiting for the chat. Okay. I love to see your chats. Sachin, thank you. Uh, Sachin Chatterjee, thank you. Rohit, thank you. Uh, thank you. Harshita, thank you. Uh, it will take like uh, 30 seconds of delay to reach me, your chat. Uh, will take 30 seconds of delay so uh, please give me some time to uh, reply okay so thank you ranjit thank you Hilpa, thank you okay so thank you so much uh let's uh thank you so much okay so let me start with a disclaimer like uh pantech is not associated with matla okay so all trademarks and logos uh, which was used on this presentation are owned by the respective owners okay if you want to download matla the trail version is available on the description box you can download the trail version and uh, um, if you like uh, my team will also share that on email through email uh, uh, so you can download the trail version and you can install it's free for uh, 30 days okay you can evaluate all the toolbox the deep learning toolbox the machine learning toolbox okay so uh, i advise you to download the trail version okay trial version which is available on the mathworks website so we don't have any formal association with matlab and matlab is this program is it's purely based on for knowledge transfer it's not based on, it's uh, we don't have any formal association with them okay so coming to the announcement the attendance link will be provided at the end of the session please don't type uh, attendance in the chat box or present in the chat box okay uh, so this session is 
for learning okay so if you want if you come here just for a certificate uh, please come at the end of the session please don't disturb the session uh, uh, please come at the end of the session and you can mark the attendance so minimum attendance required to get a free certificate is 28 days okay you may get a waiver for one or two days like uh, but minimum attendance you have to every day videos every in every day uh, in the live chat you will be issuing you'll be issuing an attendance form where you have to fill the attendance okay where you have to fill the attendance so if you get if you uh, if you attend 28 days you will get a free e certificate of participation and for internship candidates no need to fill the attendance form all you have to do is after watching the video on the portal okay there is a complete and continue button on the top okay just give complete and continue on the top so that will mark the attendance okay once you complete the course the internship certificate will be generated okay so some sessions if i'm not able to present it on live the recorded video streaming will be available like uh, we'll be streaming and recorded video stream of the lab lab classes videos will be removed from youtube after three after two days two to three days okay so please do uh, please do uh, if you want to revise uh, please do learn before two days okay so we'll we will delete the videos after two days so if you're ready i want a super duper focus right now okay so we are going to we, we are straightly we will take two slides for introduction to matlab and we we'll straightly go for matlab and practice Okay, if you are ready, just type RTL in the chat box. Ready to learn in the chat box. I want your super duper focus now. Okay, just type RTL in the chat box. So today we will be learning uh, the introduction to MATLAB. Okay, scripts and live scripts. Uh, difference between what is a script, what is the M file, and what is the live script file. What is the MLX file? Okay, and how to declare a variable, arrays, and matrix, and how to write a, a program for loops, like how to write if loop for loop while loop and switch case statement and how to write your own functions and we'll be covering about what is breakpoints and uh, how to how to keep breakpoints and how to go step by step execution of the program okay and we'll be covering up plots and subplots and so these are the things we should be covering upon day one so introduction uh introduction to uh introduction like a matlab was founded by uh, a cleave molar in the year 1984 okay so basically he is not an engineer he is a mathematician okay he this tool was founded based on his phd thesis and uh, when when they introduced they introduced as a simulation tool okay simulation tool simulation means uh, no need of any hardware you can just evaluate the performance of the hardware okay just uh, in the software itself okay so that is simulation okay before you go for the actual implementation you can simulate you can simulate whether the thing will work or not so that is a simulation so it was introduced as a simulation tool it also supports graphical programming graphical programming means no need to write the program in c language okay you will be having block sets you just drag and drop the block sets generate the code and you can download to the target processor like if you want to download that for a 8021 or an arduino uh, or like arduino uh, board okay uh, or for a raspberry pi you can generate the code or for, even for Jetson Nano, they have GPU coders. Okay. Even for FPGAs, they have HDL coders. MathWorks in the MATLAB, they have coders to generate the uh, codes. Okay. So you'll be having block sets where you can drag and drop the block sets, configure the block sets, generate the blocks, generate the code, and this codes you can download to the target hardware. Okay. So that's uh, graphical programming. And the other one advantage is you can interface with other other, other high-level language. If you want to interface with Python or C, C++, you can also write, you can also embed the C functions here. Okay. So uh, it has an interoperability. Okay. So it can be interfaced with other high-level language. So okay. So coming to the applications, uh, applications like MATLAB, wherever you use mathematics, you can use MATLAB okay so there are a lot of applications i have co only covered few like you can use it for civil engineering you can use it for mechanical engineering you can use it for even for finance if you are an accountant you can still use matlab and you, you can use it for medical image processing signal processing uh power electronics okay so wherever you have mathematics okay so you can use matlab so aerospace biometrics medical uh, finance okay control systems uh signal processing image processing audio processing video processing okay so you can uh, you can use almost every area okay so applications like electric vehicle polytronics okay so why you should learn matlab okay why you should learn matlab if you want to develop a complex algorithm okay so matlab has a lot of inbuilt algorithms so you can use those inbuilt algorithms and you can complete the design within a short period of time 
okay for example if you want to uh, if you if if you want to implement any image segmentation algorithm okay or cancer detection algorithm uh, you can when you compare with compare matlab with uh, open cv or python okay so matlab has a lot of libraries matlab has a lot of libraries where you can make use of these libraries and you can complete the code within a short period of time okay once the code is verified then you can go for the actual implementation okay and it has wide applications uh, interoperability and a lot of toolbox they have toolbox for um, uh, for aerospace toolbox for uh, polytronics toolbox for image processing signal processing okay wavelet uh, audio processing so it has a lot of toolboxes and they have a growing community like where a lot of companies contribute to matlab okay they provide services for matlab as well as this is a property software so every year they have to release okay so the, they they update the software for each and every year they have two versions like if you take 2021 you, they'll be having 2021a version which is released in the first six months the next six months they will be releasing 2021b okay so 2022a 2022b so every six months they update the software okay so that's the reason uh, if you want to reduce a, if, if 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 you want to reduce the design time then you can choose matlab and if you are in research and if you want to publish papers within a short period of time you can evaluate the algorithms very fastly in matlab okay so uh, to take the confusion matrix to make a plot to make a comparison with the other algorithms okay so that is very easy in matlab and if you are looking for a job role in core companies especially in development role like if you want to become a programmer am programmer or a designer or an algorithm okay or an algorithm developer okay in that case you can choose matlab or uh, if you want to reduce the design time and if you if you have any mathematics involved in your job you can use matlab okay so this is the reason which you, you should learn matlab uh, so it's very easy the language is very easy it's similar to c language okay uh, so uh, you can grab it easily and you can you can learn this skills high income skills okay let's go for demo uh, let's go for the uh, uh, demo just type uh, just type rtl in the chat box we'll go for practical okay i'll go through a chat is this is clear just type clear in the chat box if you are clear with this uh, presentation like the previous presentation the introduction to matlab the application of matlab and the why you should learn matlab why you should learn just type clear in the chat box okay let's go for the demo okay just type clear in the chat box okay it is not necessary to need c language okay no no need of c language here okay thank you uh, clear is clear is shakti uh, shri thank you okay let's go for see uh, once you click once you open matlab once you open matlab you will have this window okay so uh, you just go for the uh, layout here okay you have options to switch to default layout so this is the default layout okay so this window is called the command window so command window is used to type single line of commands okay so if for example if if i type a equal to 5 okay so uh, it will take a equal to 5 okay so there is no uh, for every variable there is no data type here as like c language you need to define the data type before the variable but here there is no variable declaration you can straightly give that value to this you just type who's of a okay you can see the variable name variable size and the variable bytes bytes consumed by the variable and the class okay the data type by by default it is double okay so variable has no declaration like if it is a string uh, you can make it as uh, like uh, just make it as a single quotes so that will be stored as a string okay so the uh, class will be uh, sorry who's of uh, who's who's i'll type who's so it will be character okay so this is called command window where you can type this single line of commands if you want to uh, if you want to have a program if you want to type a program then you have to type edit here okay you have to type edit where it opens the editor window and in this editor window you can type the program okay so you just go for the layout okay i just go for home go for layout click three columns okay three columns and just go for uh, i just go back again for layout uh, i also access the uh, command history okay so what are the commands which you type on the command window it will be on the command history okay 
so you can choose this uh, command history and like you can copy right click and copy okay and you can paste it here or you can right click and you can create script here okay so this the script will be created here okay so uh, you you have to save this uh, file as a uh, file savers okay you have to save this file as dot m extension i just saved as ex1.m so the file name should be with dot m extension okay as like c language will be using dot c here we'll be using dot m okay so the left hand side is called current folder the very first thing what you have to do is you have to change the directory here okay this is the directory okay so uh, by default it is in demo so uh, i just open a folder okay i just copy this folder here i click on copy to change the path you can either choose this right click and paste and press enter or you just go for the command window okay command window you just type cd single quotes you can paste the path here okay the first thing is to change the path okay because by default matlab will look all the files only inside this folder okay so uh, sometimes the image may be stored on the root folder so you can grab but if you are using any custom images or custom videos or custom files okay you have to store all the files inside this uh, folder okay so the first thing is to change the change the path okay change the path so if you type pwd the public working directory so it will show the path which is the current working path okay if you type ls in the command window it will list all the files which is present there in the which is present there on the uh, current folder okay so the details will be here the folder detail, folder contents will be displayed on the current folder if you click the if you click this uh, uh, if you click the content you can find out the details here the, the image of width 623 into height okay so we you have current folder you have the details and you have workspace workspace is like temporary memory so whatever the variable which you use on the program it will be stored here once you close the matlab okay so the contents of the works this workspace uh, will be cleared will be cleared okay is that clear is that clear just type clear in the chat box if uh, the definition of a command window uh, what is the purpose of command window how to change the path and how to open an editor window and what is command history and what is workspace and what is current folder and the details if that is clear if these if these things are clear just type clear in the chat box i'm waiting for chat So today, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, uh, today's session is uh, it's quite little bit external, like it may be for one hour. Okay, from tomorrow's, like we'll be stick to the time, like forty-five minutes. Okay, this answer is for Mohammed. Okay, so thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, so thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, I just type CLC for clear screen for clearing the command window. Okay, CLC and clear for variable clear okay uh, okay so uh, if you want to if you want to declare an array you can just directly give with you just give with uh, square brackets okay so this is an array you can type who's of a okay if you if you want to declare a matrix you just type a semicolon okay 4 5 6 semicolon 7 8 9 okay so this is a matrix okay if you want to access those elements it's very easy like for example i want to access the third element of a matrix like you just access c of a of three so this will give you the uh, uh this the value of c is three here okay uh is three here okay so c will be three so you can access okay if you want to modify the elements of the uh, matrix you can directly give uh, like b of one comma uh, b of uh, one comma one okay equals nine okay so if you check b uh, the value 9 is changed okay so uh, matlab supports uh, like you just type help help asterisk symbol here okay it supports all kind of operators like the operator like the arithmetic operators okay uh, so you, arithmetic these are the operators which is supported by matlab same as like c language okay and all the relational operators it supports and all the logical operators okay and all the special characters i will also send a sheet sheet for through email where you will have the list of commands which you can explore okay so matlab supports all kind of arithmetic operators okay let's 
let's start with a function okay let's start the demo with a function let's give okay so uh, i'm going to create a function now how to so go for file okay home go for new go for function okay i just click function okay so this is the code which is generated okay on the right hand side you can see these are the input arguments okay so i'm going to write a function for a simple addition program okay so i, I just give a comma b okay and i just delete this one okay the output argument is c okay I mentioned c equal to a plus b okay i save this uh, i give a name for this function as add okay when you save the function when you save the function control s when you give save this function the function name and the file name should be same okay i just repeat i just repeat uh, to create a function go for file go for new create a function click function here okay now i'm going to create a function for multiplication m u l okay the arguments are a and b okay and i'm going to use c here the output argument is c okay so here i'm going to remove those thing c equals a into b okay when you save this when you save this you have to this name the function name and the file name should be same so so far we have created two functions one is uh, add the other is multiplication okay other is multiplication let's call this function here okay so uh, like a equal to i just give clc for clear screen clear for variable clear okay and a equals 5 and b equals 10 okay so c equals i just call this function add of a comma b okay and d equals uh, like multiplication i just call this multiplication function a comma b okay and uh, disp uh, i just give disp of this is addition okay addition and i just give this of or uh, this is used for display okay this of c sorry this of c okay i just copy this and i paste this i change the name here multiplication okay and this of d okay uh, i give this name as example two okay so uh I, we we have called this function here so i just click here click this click this gray area okay so this is for breakpoints okay i just hit the run button okay i hit the run button so uh the breakpoint is, is to stop the execution of the program okay the program is stopped here okay you can check you can keep the cursor on the variable to know the uh, to know the value now i click step in okay there is an option called step in and step out i click step in it goes inside this function okay it goes inside this function and it do the calculation like a plus five okay step in it calculates and it, it return, returns back from the function okay and uh, it comes to the uh, next function it go inside this function multiplication and it calculates and it returns back okay it turns back so uh, so the value of c is 15 and the value of d is 15 okay so step this is step for step by step execution step in if you want to go inside this function you can use step in if you come if you step out is to come out of the function okay uh, continue is to run the program okay so this is uh, this is breakpoint if you want to remove this breakpoint just double click this the breakpoint will be removed okay removed so if this is clear how to create a function is clear just type clear in the chat box okay i'm ready for the chat if this is clear how to create your own functions and how to create breakpoints okay and uh, how to step inside the function how to use step step in and step out is that is clear just type clear in the chat box if you want me to repeat okay just type repeat in the chat box i'll go with the majority okay if this is clear just type clear in the chat box if you want me to repeat just type repeat in the chat box i'm ready for chat uh, thank you vikran thank you uh, arpit thank you and Tofik, uh, thank you. Uh, Abdul, thank you. Amit, thank you. Uh, okay. So, thank you so much. Like, uh, almost one, I could see one repeat here. Like, Chaitanya is asking for repeat. Okay. Jasmine is also asking for repeat. Okay. Okay. I could see a lot of repeats now. Okay. Okay. I, I just give a quick repeat. Okay. I just give a quick repeat to create a function. Go for file. Okay. Go for new. Go for function. Okay. So this will create a template code. Okay, 
you, you just give it a name here addition and just give an addition okay these are the input arguments for the function okay you have to give the input arguments and these are the output arguments which the function should return okay c uh, the output uh, i just give c okay sorry okay so i just click c equals a plus b okay c equals a plus b and when you save this the function name and the file name should be same okay function name and file name should be same and you can call this function like uh, you can call this function at the program okay so like uh, uh, you can like i'm going to copy this uh, code like you can uh, copy this code okay i'll just give a name for this ex3 and you can call this function like c equal to addition of a comma b okay a comma b and this is this of c okay this of c so uh, if you want to check whether this program is working or not you can use breakpoints breakpoints is used to stop the execution of the program okay by just by click the uh, click at this gray area this red color is called breakpoints okay when you click breakpoints you can see a, you can clip as much of breakpoints okay so and when you click run button the program will stop at this place okay the program execution will stop at this place if you want to go step by step execution then you can use step in step the step is go for next step by step execution step in is go inside the function okay i'll just give step here so if i, I want to go inside this uh, function so you can see a uh, arrow mark here okay so i click step in so that will go step inside the function okay and click a step so this will return from this step okay and you can it'll it just come out and click a step so so this is so uh so the, the answer is c okay so and the, the answer is c is 15. so uh so in this program we have learned how to write a function and how to use this step step in and step out and how to keep breakpoints okay you can also write the function here like uh, in inside this in, instead of writing the program here like you can just copy and you can uh, you can also uh, you can also paste it here okay paste it here and uh, you can save uh, so you just hit the run button okay so click step click step okay step in so uh, it it will come inside this it will give importance only for the function which is inside the file okay and it will go step okay step okay if this is clear if function is clear if function is clear just type clear in the chat box i have repeated uh, i have repeat this functions uh, the video will be available on youtube for two days so you can go through okay you can go through uh let's go for the uh for loop okay uh, is if that is clear just type clear in the chat box if that is clear just type clear this piece is like print like statement yes uday kumar uh this is like print like statement okay uh so let's go for a equal to five okay i just give clc for clear screen and clear for variable clear okay and i just put a for loop for i equals one to ten okay and it means uh it means 1 to 10 means like uh it will take the value from 1 to 10 i just show like i used to 1 to 10 so um it means like i the value of i will be 1 second value will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay you can also give the increment value like if you put 0 0.2 here okay 0 0.2 here it means the increment value will be 0 0.2 okay so 1 1.2 1 1 1.4 1.6 1.8 1 1.2 2.2 2.4 2.6 2 2.7 like that okay so so I just increment this value a equal to a plus one and let me check of this of a. Uh, let me show that on the uh, program. Okay, so I'll say this is example four. Okay, I just keep a breakpoint here. Hit the continue button. Okay, I just go for step function. Okay, step you can see. Okay, so this code will be executed for ten times. Okay, this code will be executed for ten times. Uh, once uh, if you can keep a breakpoint here and give continue button okay so that this will complete the execution and you check this value like it is incremented for 10 times so the, the initial value is 5 and it is incremented for 10 times so uh, a equals 15 now okay if for loop is clear for you just type for in the chat box i want to know whether the for loop is clear for you just type for in the chat box f o r okay for loop is clear uh, you can also have nested for loops like i put for of j equals 1 to 10 okay and end you can also have nested for loops you just type uh, hit the run button okay and hit the run button here like you can see the value now 
okay it's 105 okay this 10 times will be incremented for 10 times just type 4 in the chat box okay vishnu prasad is asking for repeat okay so uh, vishnu prasad is asking and some and uh, chaitanya is again asking for doubt okay okay so thank you so much uh, thank you so much let's go for the if loop okay uh, so i just create a program again like still see uh, clear okay clear i use input to get the input from the command window okay uh, a equals uh, input uh, enter the number to get the input from the command window okay enter the number so i just give and uh, if a equals 5 okay uh, else else end okay else i'll just give else if uh, a greater than 5 okay else okay so i just give disp of uh, disp of a is greater than 5 okay a is greater than 5 Okay, a is less than 5. Okay. Okay, let me let me check, save this program as example 5. Okay. I run the program and just go for the command window to give the output. Uh, I just hit the run button. Okay. I just give 5. So it displays a is 5. Okay. I hit the run button again and i just give 10 it's a is greater than 5 okay i just give 3 here okay a is less than 5 okay if you want to uh, go for step by step execution you just keep a breakpoint here uh, hit the run button okay and just give the command window you just give the value here like 2 okay uh, and you can check this value as a is 2 now okay so a is 2 you can go for step by step execution like click step execution like it comes for this it execute the statement okay step and uh, it check for this then it executes like step it executes disp of a is less than five okay if if loop is clear for you if if else if is clear for you just type if in the chat box okay if if is clear for you just type if in the chat box i'm ready for chat uh shantosh mishra is asking for uh is for for loop it's easy very it's easy like for i equal to one to ten it means the value will be taken from 1 to 10 okay you can also give the incremental value 2 here okay for it will be counted like the first time the i value will be 1 the second time it will be 2 then 4 it will be incremented by 2 okay so uh, you can have or you can also have nested for loops for i of 1 to 10 and for j of 1 to 10 okay and uh, and it's simple okay it's a for loop is very simple and for uh, if loop uh, if okay thank you so much uh, aman thank you sai thank you mohan raj thank you uh, Sneka, thank you, and Ashwati, thank you. Uh, so there is no pre request. There is no pre request. Some, someone like uh, Shua is asking, is there any pre request for this course? No pre request. We are just starting from scratch. Okay, you can learn easily. So next is for loop, if loop. Let's go for while loop. Okay, while loop. I just go for CLC. Okay, clear. Uh, a equals. Let, let's have a equal to five, and we are going to run a while loop till a less than hundred okay a less than 100 i just going to increment a a plus one okay and end end okay so disp of a disp of a so i i'm going to create a breakpoint okay to stop the execution of the program hit the run button i just click step for step by step execution so this will continue till 100 times so i'm not going to click 100 times so uh, i just click have breakpoint here and then click continue okay so this will come the program execution will come here okay disp of a so if you check this breakpoint here it's 100 okay if you if you want an uh, infinite uh, if you want an infinite like i just copy this okay so put an infinite uh, loop of while of one okay while of one is uh, you can put a equal to a plus one like if uh, the value reaches 200 okay you just give a break to break this loop and give end okay so if a equals 200 okay let's save the program i uh, just keep a breakpoint here hit the run button okay it comes uh hit the continue button so it comes here like the value of a is 100 okay 
So it goes into this infinite loop, increments slope. If the value is 200, let me check continue. Okay, if I check this value of a, value of a, the value of a is 200 now. Okay. So this is also same, and while true is also same. Everything is both the same. Okay, you can also have while of one or while of true, both the same. Okay, for infinite loop, infinite loop. Okay. Uh, so is is if while is clear for you? Okay, you have the expression here, expressions, and here you can have the statements. Okay, if while is clear for you, just type while in the chat box. Okay, if you want me to repeat, just type repeat in the chat box. Okay, I'm waiting for chat just type while in the chat box okay if while is clear for you let's go for the switch case statement let's go for the uh, let's go for the uh, switch case statement okay just type well uh, uh, miss do does the con do the concatenation plays any role okay con concatenation i'm not getting your point like a uh, music edit i'm not getting your point do the concatenation plays any role uh, at what what at where i'm not sure okay just type while in the chat box while in the chat box thank you darvish thank you uh shailish thank you and uh, okay okay uh thank you so much uh thank you so much let's go for uh, let's uh, let's go for the uh, uh switch case statement okay switch case statement like uh plc clear okay so i'm going to get the value from the command window input enter the number okay uh, enter the uh, enter the num enter the number okay okay switch of a okay case one if it is case one i'm going to display uh, it uh, the number is one okay the number is one okay and case two like i'm just going to copy this okay and i'm going to paste this here okay and end okay this is one and this is two and this is three okay so save this program as example seven okay save this program as example seven uh so i keep a breakpoint here hit the run button go for the command window okay and i just give two here Two here so it comes to this switch statement okay click step to go for step by step execution it executes okay sorry it should be two sorry it should be two okay it should be three save the program hit the run button i give two here okay and just click step step okay it executes the number is two okay so uh, if if I give a number with uh, if I I just hit, give a number called phi here okay phi I just press enter okay continue so that is it just go for step okay so there is no uh, so there is no there is no uh, statements so I can use otherwise otherwise okay this the numbers the number is not matched okay it's not matched okay i can use otherwise here okay just uh, i stop this i hit the continue button and i give four, four here okay i give four like so the number is not matched okay the number is not matched okay so if the switch case statement is clear for you just type switch in the chat box just type switch in the chat box if that switch case statement is clear for you it's like so far uh, so far we have covered up uh, the for loop uh, if loop and we have caught up the while loop the switch case statement and we have caught up functions is that clear so please uh, please don't spam for attendance the attendance uh, form will be available at the end of the session okay so you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, sign up the attendance at the end of the session okay okay Okay, so thank you, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. The attendance will be at the end of the session. Okay, will be at the end of the session. So switch case uh, function we have caught up, and uh, let's go for the uh, scripts and variables, arrays and matrix, loops and functions, and uh, plots and subplots. Let's 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 cover up plots and subplots. Okay. 
so clc so this is the last program okay this is the last program like clear clc uh, clear okay uh, you just give a of lint space linear space array okay lint space is for a uh, uh, linear space array okay just give me a moment my i think my internet connection is poor Okay, so lint space of one comma uh, ten. Okay, so uh, B equals sine of uh, A and plot of plot of A comma B. Okay, A comma B. So plot of A comma B. So save this program as example eight. Okay. So save this program as example eight and run the program. So since it is big, since a figure is involved, so I'm going to use close all. Okay. Close all to close the previous figures. Okay. Close all to previous figures. So this is to create a linear space array, sine of a. So plot of a comma b. If you want the title, like you can put a, you can put a title here. Okay. Title. This is sign okay and if you want this is c equals uh cause of a so plot of a comma c okay a comma c and if you can use hold on to hold on to plot on the same figure okay i just run the program let me show the output so this is the sign and this is the cause okay uh plot of a comma c okay and you can have the x label okay x label for x axis okay x axis and y label for y axis okay and g text for place anywhere okay place anywhere so uh so run the button and like you can you can place anywhere okay so this is the title this is the title and this is the x label for x axis and this is for y axis and this is for place anywhere okay this is for hold on hold on is to hold both the plots okay i just explain the program again lint space is used to create a linear space vector from 1 to 10 okay and sin of a will give you the sign values and plot a comma b will plot the values of a and b and title is due to give the title to the plot and c equal to cause of a hold on is to hold the plot okay so that the other plot can also be done on the same figure okay and plot of a comma c x label y label and g text okay g text is to place the text anywhere if the plot is clear for you if the plot is clear for you just type plot in the chat box okay uh, just type plot in the chat box okay the plot is clear for you or uh, just type plot in the chat box okay so uh, i'll just give a recap uh, just type plot in the chat box i'm ready for the chat okay if this is clear uh, igor thank you shrimadi thank you adarva thank you and ibrahim thank you chaitanya thank you okay so thank you so much uh, thank you so much for your time okay so uh, with this uh, so today's session like uh, subplots we will cover up tomorrow uh, subplots we will uh, cover up so today we have uh, covered up scripts and live scripts uh, live scripts also we will cover up tomorrow that's not a problem okay live scripts uh, we will cover up tomorrow and uh, uh, variables and arrays and matrix we have covered up uh, i'll send you a pdf document through email uh, which which has which will have the uh, list of functions available on matlab and you can go through it and uh, loops and functions and switch case we have caught up the different types of loops for loop if loop and while loop how to write a program for a uh, for loop if loop and while loop and we have also covered up the functions okay different type of functions and switch case and plots and subplots okay so with this uh with this i close this lecture before i close like uh, i'll i'll explain you what is the difference between uh, the youtube webinar and the internship 
okay i just need your permission uh, for uh, for explaining this just type p for permission i'll not take more than two to three minutes of time okay not more than two to three minutes of time after that i'll be sharing the top 20 learnings of uh, my entrepreneurship journey with you uh, which you can have a great takeaway today okay so i hope it will be useful for you uh, if you uh, if you give me permission just type p for permission in the chat box okay for to explain you what is the difference between youtube webinar internship and once once i share my 20 20 uh, lessons on the entrepreneurship i'll be my team will issue and uh, the attendance form okay so please don't spam till that okay just wait it's all about like 10 to 15 minutes of time okay you can spend 10 to 15 minutes of time definitely i hope that will be a great learning for you i assure you that will be a great learning for you uh, um, so so uh, an inter so youtube webinar a youtube webinar it's uh, free for 30 days okay if you attend the attendance if you give if you if you submit the attendance for 28 days uh, you will get a free certificate okay you will get a free certificate but uh, it's a one way communication okay you cannot communicate with me like it's uh, the only way to communicate with me is through the live chat okay is is through the live chat uh, so the internship is uh, the internship is uh, you get the access for the 30 days recorded videos uh, videos for lifetime access where the video from youtube will be removed from two days okay so you have uh, a deadline to uh, go through the videos within two days okay if you want to refer the video after two days uh, then uh, then you can choose internship like where you get 30 days of recorded video access uh, for lifetime access the value of this is if you put uh, 100 rupees for each and every day like that would be of 3000 rupees value okay uh, for the 30 days recorded videos and you can download the ppt downloads okay in a p in a ppt format all the ppts are there for all the 30 days in a ppt format you can download on the internship portal we will have a separate login for this uh, where you can where you can download this uh, uh, ppts okay so that the value is of 1500 rupees okay if you uh, the the, the the time which we take for preparing the ppt and preparing the content okay so uh, the value is rupees 1500 and the source code downloads uh, you have access to download all the source codes okay at any point of time it's a lifetime access uh, for all the 30 days for all the 30 days program that's of, uh, also the value of rupees 1500 and the projects which was included in this internship like you can list it on your you can list it on your resume uh, we have image compression where uh, uh, using this discrete value transformation and we have image segmentation and we have project on image denoising and we have project on object recognition project on augmented reality and we have project on steganography okay and uh, we have uh, we have project on uh, uh, cryptography like uh, the rc algorithm uh, uh, the asymptotic cryptography like about how to uh, how to use uh, like uh, the encryption and decryption like how to public using public keys and private keys and uh, we have a semantic segmentation course project and we have uh, the face recognition and drowsy direction breast cancer direction and uh, drowsy direction okay and leaf disease recognition all these are source codes which you can learn or you can start from scratch okay the the video tutorial is also there you can also learn and you can also list this thing on your resume okay so that adds to the resume if you have a personal branded website uh, then definitely like you can make a video of it you can make it on your own channel youtube channel and make it live and you can uh, make the link on the linkedin profile as well as you can also make it on the uh, uh, you can make you can also make it availability on the uh, on your personal website personal branded websites okay so the value is of 12000 like we sell this source code for uh, 4000 rupees on our website for the final years for the final year projects okay but these codes are available on for the internship candidates okay uh, uh, so you also get a certificate of internship whereas uh, the webinar certificate will be the certificate of participation uh, whereas this is uh, the internship certificate okay uh, uh, you get an internship certificate which which has which adds more value than the uh, participation certificate uh, so that's priceless and the actual value is 18000 but the value today what you are going to get is 750 rupees plus 18 percent gst okay that comes around 8, 885 rupees okay it's of worth value of investing okay so this is the offer which you are going to get uh, get the classes and the recorded ppts uh, for the internship apart from this uh, uh the course validity is lifetime okay uh you, you get access for the lifetime validity 
uh, previously like before before six months back we have only two months of access validity the course will be you can access the course only for two months if you want to access more than that uh, you have to renew renew the course but this time uh, like we have come to, uh, uh, a lifetime access the course validity for lifetime uh, and uh, uh, if you want more okay if you want more than this just type more in the chat box okay i would love to see your chat uh if you want more or uh, like if this uh if this op if more offers and um, if you want more like you just type more in the chat box i would like to, love to see your chat okay i'll just take another two more minutes and then we'll go for the we'll go for the learning top 20 learnings okay just type more in the chat box to give more okay type more to get more okay i want to see your chat Okay, just type more to get more. Okay, thank you, thank you, Vikran, thank you, uh, Sharat, thank you, and uh, Nyanamurti, thank you, Venkat, thank you, Kafi, thank you, Girish, thank you, Devakumar, thank you, okay, Jiri, thank you, uh, uh, Shivakumar, thank you, okay, Jake, Kumar, okay. So, uh, so, uh, so, what uh, the bonus one is? Uh, we have a course on brain computer interface. Okay, so we have our own EEG headset. We manufacture our own EEG headset, and we had made a course on brain computer interface, uh, which is used to measure an EEG signal, and you can like uh, you can control uh, the uh, home. Okay, you can control the home, or you can control the LEDs, and you can also measure the attention, and you can also measure the uh, meditation values okay meditation values the course is about how brain computer interface works okay how they because we are we we all we all generate electricity okay so uh, we generate five kinds of electricity in our body like uh, the eeg activity uh, electroencephalography which is from our brain the electrical activity from the brain and the other activities uh, the other electrical activities like uh, uh, ecg electrocardiography which the electrical activity is generated on the body uh, from various parts of the body and uh, electrocardiography and electromyography which is uh, the, which the electrical activity is generated from your muscles okay uh, electromyography so this uses this course uh, is much about how brain works how brain works and uh, uh, like uh, what are the different types of lobes in the brain okay and how you can tap the signal from the brain and how you can uh, how you can wire the signal to the computer to the machine okay so that the machine can understand from your thoughts okay so uh, by using the EEG activity, so this course is uh, it comes. It's the value of this course is triple and rupees. It's a three hour session, okay? Triple and rupees. But today we are going to give it absolutely free for the bonus. Okay, there are a lot of people who had enrolled previously for this workshop, like uh, the uh, yesterday or uh, yesterday. So they will also get this bonus. Okay, no worries. Those who enrolled for this will get the bonus today. Like the, the first bonus is the brain computer interface course which comes free along with this okay so you can also add this part to a resume okay bonus two is uh we have for the previous classes like we have not provided any vip telegram group support so this time uh, which is a two-way communication group this group is a two-way communication group like you have access to communicate with me uh, for 30 days okay for 30 days if you have any doubts and clarifications i will spend 30 minutes of my time uh, or 15 15 to 30 minutes of my time on a daily basis uh, to reply you on this group uh, for your doubts okay for your doubts and for your clarifications uh, so that's uh, this this is the first time we are introducing this bonus like the telegram group vip telegram group only for the internship candidates uh internship students where you have two-way communication because the other way to communicate me is to through linkedin group through linkedin profile okay so bonus three is uh we are going to conduct uh the four live interactive session on zoom which is which each session is about three hours okay where we'll be covering up the same thing but with the communicate with an interactive session like where you can interact with me uh, on the chat as well as through the video okay so you can unmute yourself on zoom and you can ask questions at the end of the q a session so the first session uh, the first session uh, starts on the batch one internship students or uh, starts on this sunday okay this sunday we are going to have class at 10 a.m to 12:30 uh, p.m and the last 30 minutes is for the q a okay 12:30 to uh, 1 o'clock is for the q a sessions so if you're doing some research based on matlab and if you want to have if you want to ask me any queries or any clarification because i have worked on a lot of image processing algorithms deep learning algorithms machine learning algorithms 
uh, over the uh, 10 plus more than 10 plus years only on the algorithms okay only on the algorithms like uh, i spend a lot of times on algorithms we have sold a lot of algorithms uh, to the companies to the students okay if you want to ask me any questions uh, you, th then you can join this zoom webinar and at the end of the session like you can ask your doubts and clarifications the first 230 hours uh, two, two and a half hours will be the um, uh, will be the course like where we will have the practical sessions okay at the end of the sessions you will be having the q and a so this is the uh, this classes will be four times so totally that will be of 12 hours okay 12 hours of classes on zoom platform so that's bonus three and bonus four is about the private community where we have a, it's a lifetime access for you uh, I'll show you the private community like uh, where you can attend the classes of uh, attend the classes uh, so uh, on our private committee okay so this is the community like so we have scheduled a class on a three hours boot camp which is on which is on this Saturday February 4 10 30 a.m. Uh, on evening that there's another call, class called getting started with the arm cortex m4 architecture that is also a three hour session okay and getting started with matlab that is on the february 5 that's on sunday session sunday session so that's uh, so uh, if you check out the past sessions okay there will we have conducted a lot of uh, previous sessions like these are the sessions which we conducted previous okay so this is a lifetime session uh, uh, like you so how to design a two-layer pcb hackathon uh, design a fpga board how to create and monetize a youtube channel okay chatbot creation Python for data science and how to create and sell your courses, like how to sell your own courses and LinkedIn mastery, okay, how to make your LinkedIn profile and three hours of PCB hackathon session, okay, how to create a payment gateway, how to sell any product through an e-commerce website, how to launch your e-commerce website, because these classes will help you to build multiple streams of income, okay, because don't ever depend on one stream of income, never ever depend on one stream of income if even if you if you go for a job you have at least two streams of two or three streams of passive income okay that will help you to uh, grow more financially and you can also uh, solve a lot of problems because money can solve 90 percent of your problems what you have okay you can help a lot of people and you can help your family so always think in terms of multiple in designing a multiple streams of income like right? Okay, funnel building, build and launch your own website. Okay, so affiliate program hackathon. So these are the creative designers in Canva. Okay, so these are the programs which we connected on the community. So you will have access to this community and this community is lifetime. The only disadvantage of this community is you will never get the recordings. Okay, so the, the recordings will not be available for the bronze membership. Okay, so uh, only for the silver membership and the gold membership will have the, will have the access to those recordings but you are free to attend any class okay for example if you want to attend this class on this uh, event okay or on uh, if you on a3 hours bootcamp you can just come and click view event and you can attend the event okay you will have a zoom you will have a zoom uh, uh, zoom link and you can attend those event okay so this private committee will be there for you and uh, that's lifetime access and the actual value is uh, still it's uh, if you're going to pay it's just some 50 rupees plus gst it's rupees 885 for the internship for the international students like we have a stripe link as, a, as well as the paypal link you can make them uh, uh, make them payment through paypal okay so uh, we have the customer reviews if you check out the customer reviews you can go for google reviews uh, i'll show the google reviews like uh, uh, the google reviews uh, like uh, uh, Pantac Solutions, you search for Pantac Solutions, Pantac.ai. So we have like 12,494 Google reviews, which is 4.7, okay, 4.7 ratings. So you can check out all the reviews. Uh, you can you can search it on your, uh, you can view all Google reviews and you can search it on your, um, uh, uh, on your desktop okay and you can read those reviews so if, if you want to take action if you want to take uh if you want to go through the reviews before you want to take action you search for pantac solutions bracket pantac.ai uh you search for the reviews google reviews like 12,494 google reviews with 4.7 ratings okay uh 4.7 ratings and uh, so the price is 8, 8, 885 only okay so this offer will will be the bonus offer will be valid only for 30 minutes okay you can book 885 even tomorrow that's not a problem but the problem is you won't get the bonus okay if you want to get the bonus then this offer is just for 30 minutes okay so before i start the my top 20 learnings i'll set down the counter like uh, i'll uh, counter for this like for the 30 minutes uh, let me start the counter okay just give me a moment. Let me uh, let me start this counter for. Okay. 
okay i so this offer is available only for this 30 minutes okay for taking actions uh, let's go for the top 20 learning on my 18 pursuits of entrepreneurship okay just type bio in the chat box bring it on okay just type bio in the chat box i'll take five minutes of time and then we'll go for five to ten minutes of time about my sharing my knowledge this is going to be more useful i assure you that this will be more useful for you okay uh, just type bio in the chat box uh, after that we'll be issuing the uh, we'll be issuing that attendance form okay you can fill up your attendance form okay I'll, i'm ready for a chat uh, just type bio in the chat box okay bio in the chat box just type bio in the chat box bio i'm ready for a chat B I O in the chat box. Okay, B I O. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Like, uh, uh, let me. Uh, so the first thing, the first thing is set your goals. Okay, set your goals. Uh, if you have not, uh, like, if you if you don't, it, it may be a long term goal or a short term goal, but uh, it doesn't matter. But you should write your goals. Okay, on a notebook. It it should not be on the mind. You should write your goals on the notebook. Okay, so that's set your goals it just like to give a it will give you a clear picture of where you want to go okay so when we started this company on 2004 like uh, we don't have any idea like but we st we blankly fix a goal to make 50 lakh revenue on the very first year itself okay but we don't know how but it actually works it actually works no matter where you are and how you are not to go how you are going to achieve the goal is not important okay before that set your goals how will come later okay how you are going to achieve the uh, achieve the goal will come later don't worry about that okay don't worry about that i don't have money i don't have skill set but don't worry about this uh, just if if you have a magic wand in your hand okay what it what is the thing which will you ask ask that okay just write it on a paper just write it on a notebook okay on a spiral bedding you know, set your goals second you may have five goals or ten goals okay not more than that limit to ten goals okay after that you have to apply the 80 20 rule if you don't know what is the 80 20 rule uh, if you know 80 20 rule what is the 80 20 rule uh, just type yes in the chat box if you don't know just type no in the chat box i am waiting for a chat if you don't know what is the 80 20 rule uh, just type uh, no in the chat box okay if you know just type yes in the chat box okay 80 20 rule 80 20 rule okay uh, apply 80 20 rule okay just type uh just type i'm waiting for a chat it takes me 30 seconds or uh, 30 seconds to reach like uh okay no a lot of people say no okay so the thing is if you take any data okay if you take any data uh 20 percent is accountable for 80 percent of the success okay for example you take a cricket score 20 percent of the batsman will give you the 80 percent of the runs okay if you if you take a sales if you take a sales of a company 20% of the marketers, salespeople will give you the 80% of the sales. Okay, uh, will give you the 80% uh, will give you the 80% of the sales. Okay, so uh, apply uh, so you uh, apply the 80 20 rule on your goals, and you have to pick the wild important goal. Okay, so wild important goal that's a goal which will give you 80% of your results. Okay, the goal which is accountable for 80% of your success. Okay, uh, that is called big. Okay, the goal which is uh, uh, accountable for 80% identify that goal, you're going to focus only on the goal because we all have limited energy. Okay, we cannot waste our energy like every day, like uh, when, once you go for the bed and once you wake up, the energy is gained. Okay, so the so with you, you have to focus your energy only at one thing, okay, not on so many things. Decide where you are going to focus your energy. Okay, so that for that, you have to pick uh, a big wild important goal just type big in the chat box wild important goal in the chat box okay uh just type big in the chat box wild important goal okay wild important big in the chat box wild important goal second and the third thing is the formal education which you get from college will make you living okay this is from jim ron the formal education like for the college study the college can the whatever whatever the course which you completed in your college can can earn you a job but if you want to become rich self education is the key okay self education is the key while i was doing my bachelor degree and master degree i'm not a good student okay i'm not a good student like i i am not well versed in programming i don't know programming but we started a programming company i learned a lot after that 
okay i used to learn a lot i used to take a lot of courses and i used to uh, attend a lot of conference i used to attend a lot of seminars okay so self education is the key for success you have to learn on a daily basis more you work on yourself wider the impact will be okay so you have to work on yourself daily you have to work on yourself daily so that's a uh, self education okay and fourth point is you become what you think all days long okay you are the product of your own thoughts so or take an audit of your thought what kind of thought you have is that a positive thought or is that a negative thought if it is negative it's like drinking poison okay if that is positive if you have a positive thought it's well and good okay but your thoughts are very very powerful such a way what you become what you think okay what you think all day long so take an audit of your thoughts okay and try to be positive try to be positive all all times what you see is what you reap okay so uh, so your thoughts are very very powerful be aware of it like whenever you dwell with negative thoughts don't stay along with long time okay don't hear like the uh, sad songs okay which brings you which brings you a uh, negativity which is inside which brings you sadness inside okay so those thoughts are very powerful like which creates uh, which creates which molds you okay so uh, fifth is ideas are the key for success okay ideas are the key for success ideas are worthless unless you take action on it okay everyone will have an idea but very few people people will take action on it you have to take an idea an idea can change your life no need to worry about money it's not about money it's not about money it's not about the skill it's all about idea and the actions which you take on it okay so great ideas will not work unless you act on it okay unless you act on it and uh, uh, uh so six is six uh six po- six point is uh money loves uh, speed okay so faster you implement faster you succeed okay uh, faster you implement um, uh, just type money loves speed in the chat box okay uh, uh, faster you implement faster you succeed okay so and seventh is uh, seventh is uh, seventh is imagination and visualization okay imagination and visualization is more important than knowledge okay you have to visualize the things okay uh, your thoughts are very powerful and uh, this this is the term from the uh, from uh, from i think from isaac newton uh, is it's from uh, sorry albert einstein it's from albert einstein uh, imagination and visualization is more important than knowledge you have to visualize the things uh, okay so visualization is very important because any product okay the reason the reason why i say visualization is very important any product in this world is created twice first it was created in the mind and then the actual product take place okay if you if you have not conceived the idea in your mind first okay then the actual reality will not take place okay so you have to first conceive it in your mind then the actual product take place okay so uh, all the the products which is from the uh, most of the companies the first uh, when you when you take when you discuss with the research and development team every product in the research and development team was first conceived in the mind okay uh, and then the actual product and the reality will take place okay so imagination and visualization is very very important than knowledge okay so uh, if if it is useful just type useful in the chat box is is that useful is that useful just type useful in the chat box i'm waiting for the chat okay so eighth is you have to build successful habits okay build successful habits okay uh, uh, how you do anything is how you do everything it's all about how you wake up in the morning and how you do some very simple things with a self discipline okay it all matters because when you come for the when you when you when you when you come for an implement, implementing an important thing okay the same thing which you follow for a simple thing will also we will also do the same thing here okay so how you do anything is how you do everything okay so take care of uh, uh, take care of each every single thing okay uh, thank you so much uh, thank you imesh uh, thank you uh, pravin thank you and uh, uh, thailand thank you shahat shah thank you uh, ram shiva thank you uh, dinesh thank you okay dinesh thank you and rufus thank you and uh, vengadesh thank you devendra thank you okay prashant thank you abhishek thank you okay so uh, the ninth is program your subconscious mind for success okay if you don't know the power of subconscious mind just type d in uh, don't know d n k in the chat box okay don't know in the chat box if you don't know the power of subconscious mind it's just like driving a car okay when you drive a car you just set the destination in your mind and you never care about what uh, the along the way okay 
okay your brain will drive to the destination you will talk to your friends and you talk you take a phone calls you talk to whatever whatever the parallel work you do but your drive your your brain drives the drives the, uh, the car to the destination okay the same thing can also apply for your goals you have a goal for you you give the goal to your subconscious mind once you give to there is a process to give to the, there is a process to give the goal to the subconscious mind okay once you give the goal to the subconscious mind that the subconscious mind will take care of your success okay so it will give you more information like even if even when you watch the movies it will get the information from this if it is related to the goal okay so learn how to program your subconscious mind for success okay so that your brain will work even when you sleep okay i just repeat your brain will work even when you sleep okay just know how to program your subconscious mind there are a lot of books available for that how to program your subconscious mind okay it's just like handing if you hand out to the subconscious mind 80% of the job is done okay so your your brain will take care of your success and 10th point is your past is not equal to future okay it's no matter where you are from we all are, so our brain is made up of paradigms this paradigms means based on our previous experience okay based on our previous experience based on our environment uh, we take decisions okay so whenever we take decisions it is based on our past experience but always remember your past is not equal to future okay if you want to become a billionaire you can still you can make a way okay you have an option to do that don't take uh, don't take a decision based on your previous experience okay because you don't make that it's 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 not like that okay so all you need is what you want exactly okay that is what that's what it's uh, it's not about how okay so your past is not equal to future so uh, the eleventh is belief in success so belief is a very key thing okay so you have to believe yourself belief in you and you have to make your way okay faith in you have faith in yourself okay have faith in yourself believe believe yourself and succeed and twelfth is so uh, so so you have to believe yourself don't believe your doubts okay and don't doubt your belief okay so twelfth point is you can earn money by providing quality service or products to the people okay if you want to earn more money the only way you can do is by giving a quality service or quality products to the people okay for example if you're going for a job you give you give service to the company the company pays you money okay the better the service you give better the hike you get okay so if you want to earn more money then you have to give a better service to the people or better service to the company okay so the company will pay back to you okay give the service first before expecting money okay so when you go for a job don't ask for a hike before you give, before giving the service you have to give the service first before you expect money so that's the law that's a law and that's a rule okay so uh, more the quantity and more the quality of the service which you provide more the money you make okay so uh, this is very very important and uh, managing money is more important than making money take a class on finance okay finance how to manage money uh, because those these things are not taught on engineering colleges which is absolutely necessary for us to manage money okay so even though if you if you earn more and if you don't know how to manage money uh, like you will be left you will be nowhere like you will you you will you will come one day okay so uh, managing money is more important than making money because these are the lessons which we have learned more like we have make 18 crores of 18 crores 20 crores like 2 crores of cash we hide it in bank but when some, some but but when something suddenly when something uh, expects happens like like demontation we never expected like demontation they are they are going to implement demontation okay there is there is nothing uh, uh, there is no clue about that okay suddenly when demontation came and suddenly we when suddenly the revenue stops okay we have to put put our money back again to this company to save the company okay so uh, so managing money is more important than making money okay so learn that skill learn that skill find out learn the know how process okay in every in every uh, like in every uh, uh, like if you want to make a millionaire or a billionaire there's a know how process learn this low how process okay the link will be available just wait for 10 minutes okay 5 minutes the link will be available okay uh, find out and learn the know how process know how process okay it's just like solving a rubik's cube okay if you know the algorithm you can solve the cube within within uh, within a stipulated amount of time but if you don't know the algorithm and if you try to solve the cube it will take a long time okay so find out and learn the know how process and 15 point is learn unlearn and relearn okay sometimes your own experience will be the problem okay in that in that time you have to unlearn your experience and you have to relearn your experience back again okay so learn unlearn and relearn okay 
and the 16th point is act as like a person you want to be okay not not as a person who you are okay for example if you want to uh, become a uh, if you want to become a uh, like a millionaire you have to act like a person the same thing uh, you, you want to be okay 17th point is choose your environment wisely because your environment is stronger than your willpower okay no matter where you are from but take an audit of your friends whom you are hanging with take an audit of your environment which 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 can support your goals okay which can support your goals like uh, choose your environment wisely uh, such a way it supports your goal okay so if you if you are in a bad environment even if you have a strong willpower definitely if you if you if you hang out with the negative people okay so the probability of getting success is less so 18 point is learn from a mentor okay so that you can avoid the costly learning curve else you have to waste time okay and you you learn you learn it in a wrong way so find the find a person who is already success in your area in your goal okay and learn from him find out a mentor and learn from him okay and 19th is perseverance and consistency is a key for success okay perseverance and consistency is a key for success and 20 is uh, that is for a committed man okay for a committed man there is no such thing called failure okay if you fall down 100 times 100 lessons will be learned if you fall down 1000 times 1000 lessons will be learned okay all you need to do is you have to organize your body your emotions and your actions and your energy towards one goal towards one goal so anything you wish it would happen okay so these are the learnings which i would like to share you today so i will ask my team to uh, post the uh, attendance form uh, please do post the attendance form and uh, uh, if this is useful for you just type useful in the chat box okay uh, i would love to see your chat if this is useful to you just type useful in the chat box i want to i want to i want to go through your chat okay i asked my team i asked my team i have a, another few points okay the uh, let me let me pin this attendance form just give me a moment let me pin this so the attendance attendance there uh, attendance the attendance there on the uh, is there on the uh, okay we have pen okay so uh, so thank you uh, yes came push you will definitely uh, came push you will definitely learn you will definitely learn matlab okay but our uh, but this is our uh, because we strongly believe that 80 percent of your success is, is 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 your mindset okay if you are well and good like you can like you can uh, the, the doors are out like you can step away but these these things are for the people who want to learn and who want to uh, make success in their life okay so if if we are happy like if we could change uh, any one person on any person who listens this uh, webinar uh, and if they if that if the skills is useful for them uh, definitely that is a great win for us okay so uh, you can step out always like uh, you can if you want to learn matlab just come for learning matlab and you just step away okay uh, but these are the things which we learned uh, which we learned for other 18 years else you have to spend your own time okay you have to just spend your own time to learn new things okay uh, so uh, so uh, so follow a monk like discipline okay uh, exercise the attendance is there so those who want to listen you can stay back okay so workout first thing uh, work, workout is the first thing which you have to do you have to do an exercise on a daily basis okay and eat clean like get a healthy diet plan and stick to it and uh, meditate okay meditate for at least 20 minutes every day and uh, organize your office uh, house car desktop clean uh, your home everything in an organized way okay so that's a positive source if it is uh, if it is disorganized then it's a negative source okay and time management you always plan your hours day week and month and stick to it say no to everything apart from that goal okay once you set the goal like uh, uh, you stick always look at the statement the vision statement the mission statement the goals monthly goals and daily goals okay set goals and uh, uh, gratitude practice gratitude say thank for your uh, for uh, for your teachers and for your families for your dad and for your mom and for your uh, brothers okay for your friends okay practice gratitude for uh, for their uh, for their contribution and sleep is absolutely necessary it's a self discipline uh, make sure you go to bed and wake up at the same time okay don't waver uh, when you go for sleep and you have to love the pain okay so confront difficulties and feel the pain and love it and relentless persistence okay stick your plan daily and never waver you despite the emotions and drama so follow this mark like discipline definitely like you can achieve anything you wish okay any goals can be achieved okay 
so uh, uh, so uh, i'm i'm going to give an activity for you like the mindset activity which i used to give for the all 30 days challenge write down your top 10 goals you get one mark okay write down your top 10 ideas to achieve the goal you get one mark and 30 minutes of workout at least 10000 steps a day you get two marks and 15 minutes to meditate you get two marks and 10 minutes to visualize that you have already achieved the goal okay so that's you get you're going to get one mark for that and 10 minutes to focus on the day plan what is the plan daily set the intentions for the day daily okay so uh, that's that you get one mark and two hours of learning and take notes of any new skills okay that you get two marks so uh, make a 10 out of 10 okay uh, follow this for 30 days i'm sure that you will have a better version of you okay i'm sure that you will have a better version of you definitely you can have the thing what you want and uh, uh, like uh, if if you if if you uh, if you um, if you fail any one of the day from that day you have to take number day one okay and you have to continue for 30 more days okay once you achieve the 30 more days or 30 days see that uh, see, you can see a lot of change okay a lot of change on yourself uh, not only from uh, not only on you your family can change see a change on you okay definitely i assure you that will be a big change okay you follow the steps for 30 days without a break even on sundays you have to follow that even on festival times you have to follow that okay if you break any day from that day you take day number one and go for 30 more days okay 30 more days definitely you can achieve whatever things which you want okay with this note uh, i'll go for a q a session like um, uh, uh, thank you so much for your time i'll just go for a q a session uh, so post your questions in the chat box uh, i will take down your questions now okay so thank you so much uh, if it is uh, if it is useful just type uh, useful in the chat box with the heart emoji okay i want you to share the love uh, spread the love uh, just with the heart emoji you just type uh, uh, love this in the chat box okay love this in the chat box thank you so much for your time uh, so the attendance link is there on the uh, on the chat okay uh, uh, elongoman thank you and uh, any thank you uh, useful i want to see the heart emoji okay i want to see the heart emojis uh, love this in the chat box just spread the love okay just spread the love uh, thank you uh, sanjay thank you and uh, janit thank you hariran thank you imesh thank you brain thank you kokila thank you and kushit thank you and uh, opo thank you and uh, uh, kushit jnanamurthy abubakar thank you and sanjay uh, josh i think joshna thank you uh, girish abhishek thank you uh, Ram, thank you. Mohammed, thank you. Abhishek, thank you. And uh, so, thank you so much. If you have any questions, uh, if you have any questions, just put that on the chat box. I'll uh, I'll allow to take your questions. Uh, if no, if there is no questions, uh, let us uh, close the session. Okay. Uh, so, thank you so much for your time. And uh, what is the use of step in? Okay. So, I have a question from Kamis ML Kamis. What is the use of step in? Okay. So step in is uh, if you want to see actually step in and step out or these are the uh, uh, these are the buttons which you use uh, these are the uh, functions which you can use for debugging okay so uh, when you keep a breakpoint uh, the program stops the execution of the uh, execution at that breakpoint okay from there you can go by step by step function and if you ha you have a function on that place and if you want to, you have an option to uh, uh, to to execute the function without going inside the function or you can go inside this function if you want to go inside this function then you have to press step in okay step in will go inside the function uh, the, the execution will go inside the function okay and you can start executing if you don't want to go inside this function then you can use step okay so you have you have you've already gone inside this function and you want to come out of the function then you can use step out okay this answer is for uh, ml commis okay if that's clear just type clear in the chat box ml commis is that clear just type clear in the chat box uh, thank you so much, Vikram uh, Sharma. Uh, sir, how do we choose which loop to use? It depends upon the. Uh, it depends upon the mathematical model. What what you want to achieve? Okay. So sometimes uh, for loop will fit. Sometimes while loop uh, while loop will fit. It depends upon the. It, it's it is based on the context of your application. Okay. Uh, but it comes by practice. You can you can choose. Uh, you can choose like it comes by practice. Like uh, so sometimes you can use for loop. The same thing can be achieved also through while loop. Okay. Uh, so uh, it depends upon the. It depends upon the uh, applications. Okay. So. Uh, 
so why loop uh, semicolon semicolon is, uh, see uh, the reshap like semicolon uh, is not it, it, it is best it, the best the best thing is to keep a semicolon but in matlab even if you don't have a semicolon it will still work okay uh, what happens when you if you don't give the semicolon what happens is like uh, it will display the value on the command window okay so so that's a problem like if you if you didn't give the semicolon for that variable it will display the value of the variable on the command window okay so this answer is for uh, rishab 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 sati okay okay muthu is asking like as a college student how to make a growth schedule and stick to it every day with the same optimistic mindset muthu uh, see uh, muthu like you have to associate with the community uh, there are a lot of communities available like uh, with the growth some growth mindset community like where you can associate with the positive people and where you can associate with the uh, like um, where you can uh, with the learning with the learning kind of community okay so uh, because when you when you do it on your own sometimes sometimes you need some accountability partner uh, who can help you to uh, take away to the goal okay so uh, try to find out the right accountability partner uh, so that uh, so that you can you both can work together and uh, on achieving your goals okay uh, this is for mutu mutu and definitely like more you take in takes okay so you, so you should the first thing is uh, for mutu subramanian the first thing is the awareness okay awareness like the kind of movies you watch the kind of uh, things you hear okay you have to control things you have to you have you, you have to you have to watch Uh, it's which is permitted to watch um, you have to hear things which is permitted to hear okay you have to you have to have awareness of this uh, that if uh, awareness of that uh, and uh, like uh, you you should be aware of your friends okay which is which is a negative friends because you you okay, can also find some negative mindset mindset people with your gang okay in that case you have to stay along with them, stay away from them okay you have to stay away from them that awareness you have to create and hang over to the place where you get more positivity and uh, ha- hang over to the place like where you will find growth okay so uh, my advice is, is to take a lot of course okay spend money for the course because it's worth investing the more you worth the more you invest on yourself um, the more you grow okay instead of instead of investing on the real estate and other stock markets the best investment is the self investment okay so more you invest on yourself more you grow so this is for this answers for muthu subramaniam okay uh muthu subramaniam like a victory okay abubakar thank you okay uh, can we use uh, shri yes you can use your webinar project in your project yes you can use in your resume you can use in your resume that's not a problem okay yes you can add projects shake see if if you see the thing is uh, if you can shake like if you can uh, learn this project skill and if you're able to do it on your own then what's the problem on adding to your resume you can add it to your resume no nope. that's that's there's nothing uh the, like you can add it to your resume because you know how to do it and if you get an interview questions like you can handle them because you have already done this okay you know how to do that so that you can add to add it to your resume this is for shake shake islam okay Uh, so thank you so much uh, please do post the questions on the chat box uh, i will take your questions uh, shri thank you and uh, dikshit thank you and um, islam thank you and uh, fill this previously i found attend link i didn't fill this previously like uh, i'm not getting a point prank i'm not getting a point a uh, diamond music thank you uh, is islam thank you and uh, this language in case sensitive uh, makesh is uh, is case sensitive like uh, is is it's case sensitive okay okay uh, shailendra dikshit the matlab link is uh, the trial version is there uh, trial version if you want to download the trial version like uh, you can search for math math mathbox trial like you you will get it in the first very first in the google search itself okay you can download if you want to if you want to download the crack version the crack version is also, is also there like you can use a website called get into pc okay but i advise you to go with the trial version okay egbca is not free for the youtube webinar uh rahman like uh, egbca is not free for the youtube webinar okay so thank you so much uh, i don't have any of the payment options okay alamin i'm not sure about where you are from but uh, let me check with my team um uh, it it should be like the international payments should work if the paypal is if paypal and stripes works in your country it must work it must work okay anyhow let me check with my team okay okay so thank you so much uh, thank you so much if uh, thank you so much uh, if any questions post that on the chat box 
Okay. Thank you, Brain. Thank you. Thank you, Brain. Thank you. I would like to extend my gratitude. Thank you, Brain. Okay. Ranjit, thank you. And uh, Pradeep, thank you. Uh, Madan, Madan Kumar, thank you. Aparna, thank you. Please post that attendance, attendance link. Aparna, the attendance link is the, on the top. Okay. You can see it on the top. It's pinned there. Uh, Nyanamurthy, thank you. Anil, thank you. Uh, Skyveil, thank you. And uh, Mohammed, I'm an electronics engineer undergraduate students. How to how to use for me? Uh, okay, Mohammed, like uh, if you want to learn the image processing, uh, video processing, machine learning, and deep learning, then this session is uh, will be definitely it will be uh, useful for you. Like it will be awesome. Like you can use it. Okay, you can use it. So thank you so much, uh, Fanshu. Thank you and uh, Suchita. Thank you. Uh, so Natch, thank you. Uh, Exact time, Vincent. It's in G Vincent, like uh, GMT time. I'm not sure about the GM, but the IST time is uh, six o'clock. Okay, six p.m. Okay, IST time. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, see you on the next session uh, tomorrow. Until then, bye bye. Take care. Okay. I'm signing off. I'm signing off. Thank you so much.